Hey guys, I'm back again. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Uh, today we're going to talk about Terraform Cloud. As you guys must be aware that Terraform is an open source uh, platform where you kind of build your infrastructure. However, Terraform also has got an enterprise solution which is a self-hosted uh, service uh, and, and Terraform Cloud is a subsequent version of uh, enterprise. Uh, so we're going to take a few minutes of yours and we're going to cover uh, what Terraform Cloud is all about and how it is beneficial uh, when you're working as a uh, as a team and creating infrastructure for uh, companies. So generally, what happens is you 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 open your terminal, you write some configuration file like I've written over here. Uh, what I'm gonna do over here is I'm I'm kind of creating a resource group in Azure and a storage account. How would I run um, my Terraform code? I would install it on my local system, do a Terraform init and then do a terraform plan and if i'm happy i'm gonna run it uh, i'm gonna apply it uh, however uh, so you got to take care of the installation of terraform you go to if somebody else is working on the same code uh, until unless you have pushed the code onto a source code repository like GitLab or GitHub, he or she doesn't have any clue that what changes you have made to the infrastructure. He can always pull up the uh, state file if you have put it into a backend repository. However, that's that's not the ideal case which happens in a company. Uh, so Terraform Cloud is a self-hosted platform uh, which is provided by Terraform. It's, it's kind of running, consider this as a running as a managed service, software as a service. Terraform has given you an UI and in the backend it is uh, it is maintaining the version of Terraform and everything on its own. So you need not to take care of the installation of Terraform and, and things like that. And everything uh, is kind of uh, collaborative. Uh, we're going to see how, how collaboration works in Terraform Cloud. The first thing which happens is with uh, Terraform Cloud is you got to create a workspace. Now consider workspace as different clients or different department. Uh, so you are uh, a, one of the dev DevOps administrator of a company and you are in charge of developing or deploying infrastructure for different clients. Now these clients could be Amazon, Google, Facebook, Adobe to name a few and you create infrastructure for them. Uh, so you can create different workspaces for them. Now the first workspace could be for Amazon, second would be for uh, Google. So you kind of maintain different repositories for different clients uh, rather than keeping everything at the one place. So you know, so maybe some other customers are using different customers, there's different code and configuration. So all of that can be maintained using um, Terraform workspace. So now consider them as a, a folder, a different folder or a client configuration. Now the first thing you do is you connect your Terraform cloud with a version control system. Now this version control system could be could be anything, could be GitLab, GitHub, uh, Bitbucket. So you go to connect with it. To connect, I've already connected it. Uh, what you need to do is go to settings and you go to developer settings again and go to auth app, create a new app and give it a name. Make sure that you upload this particular image so that uh, Terraform can authenticate with your version control system. Then um, uh, mention the badge color and then mention the name, home page URL. Uh, make sure it is app.terraform.io and uh, callback URL would be taken from again from here. So it's a free Terraform Cloud is a free open source platform. Uh, Terraform Enterprise is paid. However, Terraform Cloud is absolutely free. Uh, so feel free to log into app.terraform.io and log in using your personal uh, credentials and get your hands dirty. So now the first step would be to uh, authenticate your Terraform Cloud with the with the repository system. I've already done that. Once you do that, Terraform kind of automatically recognize what are the branches or whatever uh, repos available. So I've got these six repositories, more than six actually. I'm gonna select Terraform Cloud Shan and what I've got under Terraform Cloud Shan repo is I'm gonna show you. That's my repo and over here I've got a bunch of files. Now this file is about creating a resource group and a storage account. So you do that, you go to advanced settings, you can mention the working directory where your Terraform code is. I have kept it empty. Uh, and then you kind of select whenever, uh, whether, uh, when you want to run the Terraform apply, uh, do you want to run it any changes to your repositories or a particular branch? 
the default has the default branch is master and to the sub branch as well i'm going to click click on create the workspace the workspace has been created successfully if i go to queue plan it should start creating so as soon as you kind of click on queue plan you start seeing the details over here run by Sean that's the github account and that's the repo detail commit ID as you maintain as it gets maintained in the uh, any source code version repository so as you can see uh, let me do a full screen over here uh, whatever code I have written over there it's it's kind of running it from here it's gonna create a storage account it's gonna create a resource group for us and name of the resource group environment and then the storage account and things like that and once that is done um, the plan is finished and successfully done you can actually confirm and apply as well or you can discard the run so let's suppose this is handy particular in a scenario wherein um, somebody has pushed a code onto your uh, github repository and you just want them to run uh, apply it or only plan it not apply it as an administrator you only want to apply that so you can add a complaint com uh, comment kind of uh, this plan looks fine to me let's apply so you have the control of applying the infrastructure uh, by yourself so I'm gonna do is applying applying the configs and click on confirm apply and it's gonna plan has been finished apply is in queue and you see that it is starting to apply uh, the configuration so it gives you the version of the terraform I'm gonna do a full screen and then it is starting to create the resource group for us hmm okay this particular resource group uh, storage account already exists and that's why it is erroring out so let me let's do it let's probably it's gonna be a good demo what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change something in my repo and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the storage name to demo for users and I'm gonna change the resource group as well so I'm gonna show you um, what happens when you change anything in the code any changes you do in the code Terraform once you apply the changes on your repository Terraform automatically understands that you have made a change on your repo and it'll start uh, planning that change for you automatically without doing anything so updated the main file and if I go over here and you see it has automatically started to so I'm gonna wait and until it's being planned yep that's been planned and if I go over here yep it's going to convert uh, change the name from Sean to demo as the Delta sign says that is gonna change the name from Sean to demo and it's gonna add a storage account with a name do we see the name yep that's the name over here of the resource group and yep that's pretty much all let's try to apply and see if it is uh, applying this time or not maybe yes fingers crossed So as you see that it's trying to destroy the resource group with the name Shan first and then would be trying to apply and it's still trying to destroy and if I go to the resource group over here yep that's the resource group still there let's open them parallelly and it's still trying to destroy let's wait for it to destroy and wait for it again to create the demo resource group so I just wanted to let you know that it's deleted the resource group and it has uh, created the resource group success 
hopefully and if I'm gonna pull my Azure account it's created the demo and got a uh, storage account for us as well one thing I've surely noticed um, with uh, the creation that it takes a bit of time rather than uh, when it compares to running your configuration from from your local system so that's that's one of the thing maybe it kind of depends where your uh, terraform is terraform cloud infrastructure is hosted so yeah that's that's uh, so what happens is now what it, it kind of done if similar things which you do it using your local system as well however as an administrator or as an or as an engineer you can see that who has has applied what changes um, and it kind of uh, takes all these states as well and keep it in a centralized uh, location you can see that it maintains all the state just like your back in configuration and you can you can see that what kind of changes the so, quite a beautiful visual um, uh, representation that what changes it has done you can download as well and you can manually run your queue plan as well uh, so there's a couple of more things. There are variables as well. You can define your variables right over here. So what I'm gonna do is let's play around a bit more. I'm gonna directly edit my files from here, and I'm gonna add add attack probably, um, or rather, let's change the name from demo to demo demo for devops with sean and yep no um i'm gonna replace this with rather variables i'm not gonna change the name um put them as name and define it using the variable mm, name and then default value keeping it as and i'm gonna uh, put the default value over here so I'm gonna add the default value as here name would be DevOps with Sean demo sounds good save the variable so rather than saving the variable over here or secrets over here and what you do is you commit your changes and run for terraform cloud to pick up your changes right from here and yep it has uh, looks like it has picked up the changes yep and it's running the plan so you see that resource block is not expected here let's see what it is trying to do so if we go to our rep or workspace let's go to our workspace um, terraform cloud shan and try to run and try to troubleshoot probably uh, what it is trying to do so it says resource group resource are not is expected here what does that mean um, Try to on the nine test block of resources are not expected here, and same goes with this as well. Variable dot name test. Alright guys, looks like it was just a uh, identification error. So what I've done is I've removed the codes from here to here and give it a space right over here. I'm gonna push the changes again and go right over here and see that what it's trying to do. So it's successfully it has got the plan applied and if I just discard the run I'm discarding and just click on discard run so this is the idea of uh, uh, giving passing the variables over here was rather than you keep your variables in your source code uh, repo what you can do is you can simply 
um, define your variable over here uh, so that's secret as well you kind of um, give it a uh, as a hash sensitive or uh, as well if it's a password you can probably give it a key and then it's gonna be uh, saved as a secret for you yep that's that's uh, that's about it um, that's that's what I wanted to show you guys um, that how Terraform cloud uh, works and what are the cool features it has got along with it I hope you've liked the video if you have done um, if you liked it if you like the content feel free to uh, share your comments and if you would like to uh, see some more videos around terraform cloud feel free to leave your comments and i would be happy happy to make the uh, videos for you let me know thank you guys cheers i'll see you later